Welcome back to War Thunder Weekly News. This week's gonna encapsulate things that happened last week because I missed it. Although there's only like three stories that popped up. But uh, anyways, we got some new boats, but they're looking more like shit. First up we have the MZ-1. It's a German boat or ship or whatever. It has a, a quite the outstanding armament compared to others, including an 88 millimeter cannon which will be very interesting. We also got the Project 122 BIS Sub Chaser. It's equivalently the Russian large ship. I'm assuming that we're going to get a large ship for each nation and then we're going to have a new test of the large ships to see how that turns out. Also, oddly enough, there are some files brung up from the CDK, two of which are the boats that I prior talked about, but there is also a US ship with rockets on the side, and another US ship that looks more like a cargo ship than a warship, but no further information on these besides their names. We also got a developer Q&A. Uh, they only answered Russian questions, because it's easier for them to answer Russian questions because they are Russian. There are some good questions, a lot of uh, interesting things. The IS-7 was brought up, though unfortunately to poor translation, people are assuming that it was confirmed. It is not. They state that they are currently not planning to introduce it, but you never know what the future brings. Lots of questions about uh, more high-tier bombers for other nations besides Russia and US, and it kind of hinted towards Britain and Germany getting some high tier bombers. Uh, they said that they have plans to introduce the Lincoln. Also very interesting, there was a question about the addition of a German tank around 7.3 because they don't have any there and they were like yeah we are thinking about adding a uh, M47 Patton to the German tree. Federal Republic of Germany did use them but I don't know exactly if it's really that necessary. Like, if you think about it, the German tree is one of the most fleshed out. So I don't think they really need uh, copy-paste vehicles. Although it kind of seems that the introduction of the Japanese tanks has, in a way, opened the floodgates for copy-paste vehicles, uh, as we've seen with the Sherman II added to the British tree. Although I hope it's not a very common practice, because as great as they are, I always prefer new, interesting vehicles added to the game. It says that there's a lot of other interesting questions. If I go over all of them, this video will be like an hour long. But the link will be in the description. After that, there was some drama about one of the terminants that Gaijin continuously has going on. I never keep up with the tournaments because I'm lazy and suck at the game. But apparently, there was some sort of glitch. And oh, the one team that did benefit the glitch and the team that didn't bet from the glitch that should have gotten first place. Both are going to receive the first place title, but one team was not happy about that. I didn't keep up too much with it. Uh, there's a super bunch of Reddit stuff. Um, I'll put it in the description if you care. Also in the CDK, there were some more odd, misplaced, perhaps, vehicles. A French Hawk 75 and a uh, Chinese biplane pretty odd, but I don't know why they keep on making random vehicles that never seem the light of day. Speaking of Chinese uh, vehicles, the Chinese tech tree for the uh, China nation got shared on the forums, and it is just a whole lot of other nations' planes. Kinda silly, pretty small, but yeah, nothing special about it really. If they were to introduce a Chinese tree to the rest of the world, not just China, I would hope that they flesh it out a bit more, make it more unique in ways, but I don't know how you could do that. A lot of research would have to be put into it. Besides that, there was a lot of minor updates, like the Type 62 had its BR changed and heat thin stabilized added to it. So I'm not sure they really get why they added, they increased it by a whole one BR, it went from 5.7 to 6.7, but the only change was the uh, inclusion of a heat fit and stabilize, which is around the second tier of the modifications and can get around 300 millimeters of armor. And the uh, 262A2A had a, uh, can now carry one 500 kilogram bomb, though apparently it could carry two, although I hear that for it to successfully carry two that it would 
basically kill the uh, lift and it would take like half an hour for it to get to any credible altitude. There are some other ones, uh, they'll be all in the description. There are some unofficial patches. So uh, thanks for watching, it's been all I got for this week. Time is a bit slow in between patches. Uh, I'll try to get them out every week. Maybe if sometimes weeks are a bit slow and I might not do one, but I like to try to do every week. But yeah, have a good day. Zone. A little more effort and victory will be ours. The gunners on coasters!